Another big time visitor to the U.S., of course, the Chinese president, Xi Jinping, has been in Seattle on the latest stage of his state visit. He's heading to Washington next for talks with President Obama. Well, so what's in store for him there? The BBC's Laura Vicker is there right now. Uh, Laura, what's coming up then? Well, it's been a warm start to President Xi's visit. He has been touring the Boeing factory this morning in Seattle, and he's talked about the fact that China is open for business, that the two countries can make their economic ties. So that's a warm start. However, I think things will get more difficult as he moves to Washington. He'll have a private dinner with President Obama, and I think one of the keen conversation topics will be cyber security. Now, this comes in a day where the Department of Defence has announced that 5.6 million people have been hacked. The government employees were hacked uh, by cyber, now we're not quite sure, cyber criminals they've called them. They've not publicly said that they were from China. However, the suspicion is that they may well be. That will be a keen subject for the two to discuss. Other things on the agenda will be the South China Sea. China believes that 80% of the waters belong to them. Obviously, the US say they should be able to sail, to fly, to conduct any exercise in the South China Sea and what they see as international waters. And then, of course, you've got the thorny issue of human rights issues. Certainly, there have been a number of protesters outside the Microsoft factory where uh, President Xi was today and I think certainly there will be more uh, in the coming days in Washington. There have been suggestions that this new law that President Xi wants to introduce in China will make it difficult for non-government organisations like Save the Children to work there and President Obama has been keen that this law is not enacted. It looks likely to go ahead. So certainly a very difficult dinner conversation to be had tomorrow. Laura, what are your sources telling you? What's the real chance of any movement on cybersecurity? Obviously, the Chinese economy has had its problems, but China is still so powerful. You get the sense that pretty much China can do what it likes. Well, I think the relationship between China and the U.S. has changed over the last few years. When President Xi first uh, came to power, China was certainly way on the rise where the U.S. economy was struggling. Things have flipped round a little. The U.S. Uh, the U.S. economy is growing, where China's economy is now beginning to slow. So certainly both sides are aware that it is in their interests to come to some agreement. Now, earlier in the week, the National Security Advisor, Susan Rice, said that it would not do, that it would not be a right for China to continue any cyber attacks or any alleged cyber attacks that have been going on. And certainly President Xi has shown signs in his visit already saying that there can be some movement. Both sides, both sides are saying uh, through advisors to journalists that they know that it's in their interest to find at least a bottom line where the two can agree because these are the two world leading economies and they believe that to work together somehow, even if they just find some bottom line, it doesn't do either country any good not to move forward. Laura, thanks so much for that.